welcome to quintessential stitches my name is ij reality don't mind me i'm a german mabel but i like calling myself ij reality okay so this is a tutorial channel but first of all i hope we are all keeping our, our social distance like the government says uh you know stay safe wash your hands like the medical says they say you have to wash your hands sanitize all the time you know to help stop the spread of coronavirus please adhere to all of these instructions is very important anyway i want to thank every one of you that commented on my previous videos there were complaints that i talk too fast i'm really sorry i'm a fast talker but i am going to try my best to take it as slow as possible so for that reason i have decided to start from the crack to from the scratch sorry so today we are going to be doing um, basic bodies which is the upper part of um, a top some people say it's for ladies, but it's for everybody. A vest, anybody can wear. It can be called a vest from the shoulder to the waist or to the hip side. That's the upper part of the body. And it has seven basic measurements. But we're going to the um, cutting table right now so I can explain better. Mm, please stay home and stay safe. And also don't forget to follow us on Twitter, Quintessential Stitches, Facebook, Quintessential Stitches, Instagram, Quintessential underscore reach. Though if you search for Quintessential Stitches, you are still going to see it. And our hashtag is quintessential stitches and Q stitches. I love you. See you at the table. Keep your social distance and wash your hands to stay safe. So let's go to the table as we kick off. Love you. Bye. Okay, you're welcome back to quintessential stitches. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe on our YouTube channel. Okay, so these are the um, most of the uh, some of the accessories that we need for the basic bodies pattern the pattern drafting this is your pattern paper this is uh, the markers that we're going to be using they are not permanent markers though. then we have the scissors i have three different rulers here and measurement tape then um, chalk and pin though we might not need it but this will be used to hold this down and then i have the measurement book i told you i have we have seven basic um measurements that you need this is one two three four five five so six seven so um this is the shoulder bust half length um round waist then sh this is a uh, shoulder to waist and shoulder to hips if you look here you will see that i gave an arrow for the two of them it means that the both of them can be used for um, the length so is it that you want it from the shoulder to the waist or you want it from the shoulder to the hips it can be used as the length then we have the hips um, measurement but i'm going to be explaining all of the mass that you're seeing here all of the calculations that you're seeing here so but notice note that each time you want to do um you you want to cut a dress whether it's a vest or not there are some measurements that you need to divide into four, and there are some measurements that you need to divide into two. And some is just a few seam allowance that you need to add. For example, the shoulder measurement, you need to divide into two. You see what I did here? You divide into two plus 0.5. It gives you eight inches. So it is eight inches that we are using. Then for the bust measurement, you are dividing by four. So we have 38 divided by 4 plus 1.5. It gives you 11. So it's 11 inches that we are using to cut. Then the half, half length remains constant. The round waist is 32. That's 32 inches divided by 4 plus 1.5 equals to 9.5. Then we have the, the shoulder to the waist 21. This one now is, you're going to add extra 2 inches because it's the length so you can have seam allowance then we'll have the hips um, shoulder to hips which is also the length is 25 and you're going to add two inches so you can have seam allowance then we have hips 40 is going to be divided by four plus 1.5 so we have five point um 11.5 inches so note that anytime you want to sew or anytime you want to cut you must fold with the highest number so looking at this paper now the highest number we have here is 11.5 so but let me explain um all of the measurements on my body so that you can understand it very well just follow me okay so i just um want to use myself to talk to show you more of um of the measurement so the shoulder the shoulder is my is your back here to here that's the, the shoulder measurement then the bust this is how you measure your bust some people will say ah oh, i can't measure myself yes you can 
this is 38 like i told you i like my dresses free but if i don't want it free that's 37 tight but the reason why i like using 38 is that most times there are some cup bra that you wear it makes the dress um, a bit fitted so you have to give a little space you see then um half length my half length is 15 this is my half length that's 15 some people use their half length at their um, novel i don't do that so my half length is 15 in case i want to do a peplum dress so that it will lean very well and i like this place um, like if i want to make a vest i like this place fitted so that's why i'm using 15 as my half length now when some people have a big bust when your bust is big your half length might be 18 or so because by the time you put the tape you find out that this because of the the portrayal of this place it makes the the length a bit um the inches a bit um longer than it should be then i said something about um round waist now your round waist is always at the half length where your half length stops the half length is 15 so i'm going to place this at where my half length um stops that's i told you that my round waist is 32. your half length and the round waist they are how do i put it uh, they work together intertwine so this is 32 that's the round waist then if you have a big tummy it is always advised that when you take the waist measurement you take your tummy measurement in my own case my tummy and my waist the measurement they are the same thing it's 32 32 the measurements are the same thing. but when in the situation where your tummy is big you take your round waist separately take your tummy separately so that when you are sewing you don't make the mistake of after sewing you can't wear the dress now we have them um, shoulder to the waist that's supposedly supposed to be the length and my waist is um, 21 which is here maybe because of this dress this is this is my waist here shoulder to my waist 21 some people might be the number might be higher because maybe they are bigger or they have a bigger bust and then shoulder to the hips is um, 25 this is my hip here here is my hip so some vest or top some people like their top longer so it to cover their flap then some people like it short so but today we are using both i'm going to be using the highest number which is the hip measurement that is what i'm using as the length of it you know how to measure your hips now you just place it here and voila my hip is 40 that's the hip measurement sometimes you like it tight but it's always advisable that you do the correct measurement the tight measurement so it will help you when you are sewing boo boo and all the rest of them will get to that one so let's go to go back to the cutting table so that i can use the pattern paper to explain more thank you okay you're welcome back to petition stitches i'm back to the cutting table and this is my pattern paper folded and i folded it um extra and i told remember i told you that we're using um the highest number from our measurement which is 11.5 but i have folded more than that so that we will have space to cut this is 13 inches here yeah and the length of my pattern paper is 28 instead of 25. remember we said we are having uh, we have um, extra two inches seam allowance though the original measurement is um, 27 and now we have excess of one inches we're going to cut it out when we are ready so let's start with the shoulder measurement i'm going to be using marker so that um the i want it to be very clear when you're looking at it so i said we have um eight inches for the shoulder so from here remember the folded edge of the paper must be facing you this is the folded edge of the paper so this is eight inches here this is eight inches and then i have to remove the shoulder measurements i'm using four inches before i remove the shoulder measurement let me remove the neckline for neckline for someone like me we're using four we're using this is the normal neckline they call it crew neckline four by four that's what i'm using four inches width and four inches depth now in order for me not to confuse you the best way to get your neckline measurement you square it four by four this is four inches here uh, four width four depth i'm going to rule it in a square shape 
so that when I cover it, it will not be a problem for you. I repeat, this is four inches width, four inches depth. Now I'm going to use this ruler so we can get a curve that's crew neck. Crew neck. You see that? By the time we cut it out, you see that you have this um, shape and the top the 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 next side will be hanging will be hanging on your neck then we have something we call them um, the slant on the shoulder so that when you finish sewing the shoulder side will laugh and it will not be going up i'm going to be using one inch for that from here i do an inch here and then i slant it that is called shoulder slant so to get your armhole from here I used nine inches some people use eight but this is nine inches and then you mark the armhole and roll so we'll do a curve here when we are through with this place and now we said our half length is 15 inches so this is the half length here and again we rule it's always good for you to rule so that um, you won't make mistakes this is the half length 15 inches for the half length now this is the other side of the the, the vest this is your okay let's mark out your waist we said our waist is um, here sh shoulder to the waist is um, shoulder to the waist is 21 inches plus two that's 23 inches so i'm marking 23 this is 23 inches here so i will rule it to the other edge 23 inches oh, I'm running out of this number, so let me just check out. This is 23, 23 inches. Now this is the hip side. Okay, so to get the round waist, we said our round waist is um, 32 inches divided by 4 plus 1.5. That's 9.5 inches. So, okay, no, before we get our round waist, let's get our bust measurement. Always use um, the, what is it called? The the armhole measurement or but well, right now we are using the armhole measurement there's something always called shoulder to the bust but today we are using the armhole measurement as the bust line so we said that um, our bust is eight is um, 11 inches so this is 11 inches i mark 11 inches here that's 11 inches here and then we have the round waist as 9.5 inches this is 9.5 i don't want to confuse us that's why i'm doing all of this this is 9.5 inches here the waist measure um, we have the then here we're using hip measurement for this place we're using hip measurement because it is the length so we are using the hip measurement so that we can be able to have a free kind of uh, shape here so the hip measurement is 11.5 so this is 11.5 whatever you do here is what you're going to do here 11.5 and then it's time for us to come to connect all of it i always like using this line But most times you can do this so you can have like a curve. When we cut it, it will have like a curve. Now, after doing this, you place this ruler here so you can get your arm hole curve. See how easy this is. Now let's start, let's start by labeling it before we cut it out. This is the back side. Okay, there's something I forgot to tell you. It's called the dart. 
that. Yes. It's called the dart. It helps the dress to have one kind of uh, shape that I cannot. I, I, I don't know how to. It gives it. Um, it makes the the dress lap anyway. So that that the center point from the waist at the waist here. This round waist. You look for the center point. We use nine and a half. So nine and nine and a half divided by two. This is the easiest way. Use your tape. Divided by two. We have four four and a half with some meters. So that's here. This is the center point. That's the center point. But usually when I want to do my that, I take from 12 inches that's almost on your bust 12 inches here that's that almost from your bust this is 12 inches here sorry we are using the center point center point 12 inches here and i like my dad to be seven inches so this one and then I roll. Don't forget, I told you 12 inches from the top. 12 inches from the shoulder. 12 inches from the shoulder. And then you mark 7 inches this way. 7 inches, that is what I like to use. To be at the center, to be from your bust to this place to help the dress to have one shape. Then you take, let's use the back, you take like half an inch from each side. Take half an inch here, and half an inch in the other side. And you connect both of them. Connect this way. And same thing here. And now we have our dart. So when we are sewing at the machine, this is where we are holding as the dart of the dress. Remember, this thing is folded into two. It means that you have the back, and you have the. This is the front side of the dress. Okay. So I would like to explain myself again. This is the neckline. Let me use the red pen. I hope you call a black marker. This is the neckline. Neckline and it's four by four. Four width, four depth. Four width, four depth. And this is the shoulder slant. Shoulder slant. Use one inches for it. I hope you understand. One inch is for it. And this is the armhole. Armhole. Nine inches depth for the armhole. So, uh, and this is the round waist. That's 15 inches depth. 15 inches. 15 inches depth. This is 15 inches. I said this is the dart. This is your dart. That's uh, um, we have 12 inches from the shoulder. We are here now. From shoulder. And then half inches to join it. And then this is your waist, shoulder to shoulder to waist or shoulder to hip or shoulder to hips. And that's here is twenty here is twenty five and this is this one is twenty seven. 
Although I will still um, post everything on the description box. Now, whatever you do here, I'm going to use this same um, paper to measure the back for you. But the only difference here is going to be the neckline. The neckline for the back side is going to be... I, I use one and a half. Some people use one inches, but I prefer to use one and a half. This is one and a half here. This is one and a half here. That's the back. Then you try to follow it this way. I don't know how to draw very well, so I use... I always use ruler because I'm not a good sketcher. You see that? So when you cut, this is the back. If you want to use this paper to place on it, in fact, let's even cut it out. But I'll be leaving this place so that there won't be any confusion. Let me cut it out. So maybe you will understand more. You see the shape that is forming. I want to slit this paper so that I can still use the remaining one. But do not slit your paper. Do not slit your dress except it's a shirt dress, please. Except it's a shirt. In a situation where it's a shirt dress, that's when you are allowed to slit the dress. That is what we have. This is what we have. That's the front side. That's one side of the front. One side of the front. Remember, we, we, we folded the paper into two. This is one side of the front. Let me place it on me so maybe you understand. But let me cut out the next one. This is the back le neckline that I'm cutting out. The back neckline. So, if you want to use this to make a dress, after folding your dress into two, you can place this on it and cut out the back side first. After cutting out the back side of the dress, then you can now cut out the front side. Remember, after cutting out the back side of the dress, before you cut out the front side. And here we have it. I want to show you something on myself. See that? That's the front. That's one side. Like I told you, one side of the dress. This is one side of the dress. But since it's folded into two, when you open it, you're going to see that it is the full dress. So this is what I have for you for now. I'm still going to be coming back to show you how to cut. Um, our next video will be on how to cut an A-shaped -shape, A dress. So with the help of this, you will understand more on how to cut an A-shaped dress. And we're still coming up with different neckline so please don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel just click on the subscribe button and also don't forget to follow us on instagram youtube i'm um, sorry instagram facebook and twitter at quintessential which we love you drop your comment i will really appreciate it i hope i am as slow as possible this time if there's any error please let me know and i love you please stay home and follow every instruction as the government has given so that we can stop the spread of Hey, hey.